Hi guys, and this is the video on um, how to stitch the body pieces all together, um, just for help on stitching and all that. So with the finished piece, it's going to look like this. Okay. Um, so we just need to stitch them all together. So you're going to get some thread like this. I already put it on the lead needle because it always takes me forever. And then you can do a knot at the end. I've actually done a triple knot there. To do a knot, to do like a double or triple knot, all you do is tie a normal knot and then when you've done it, hold the knot like this. Oops. Sorry, hold the knot like that. And then just tie another knot again round. And trust me, it'll always do it in the same place unless like you're not doing it right. Okay, so to start off, you're going to get two pieces. This. and you're just going to start at the top or wherever you want and you're just going to put the needle through okay and start stitching like normal okay so like I find this really easy because like, I always do it but if you want some help with it then just ask your mum or your dad or Grandma, whoever likes stitching, you know, whoever, and then you can just have some help with them. Okay, so this takes quite a while for me to do, so sorry if I'm going to bore you by just talking. You can do it with me if you like, and you won't get bored of just me stitching it. Um, but anyway, this is how you do it, and I'm just going to show you how you like do the whole thing. Now, when you pull it through, pull it really tight because that sort of gives it. Oops, that sort of gives it like this. Um, I don't know the word. Like it makes it all plumped up like that. Okay, so just keep doing that. Every time, so pull it really tight because you don't just want the pieces straight. Okay, so I'm nearly getting to the end now. You are going to need a lot of thread for this. Okay, I'll just do the very last one. Okay. Then, when you get to the end, all you're going to do is you're just going to stitch along this bit. Now, I know there's Nothing to stitch because you're just stitching through one piece. But that's just to get to the other end. So you can stitch on another piece. Okay, and remember to pull it tight on this bit too. Probably won't do it as well because you're just sort of doing one piece. And and like try and get the needle in the right place every time. If you get it in the wrong place, then it always goes wrong. I mean then it'll just go wrong and not how you want it. Okay? And then when you get to the very end, okay, don't don't stitch like down here again. You're gonna get another piece. Okay. And then you just put that at the back. Don't put it at the front because then this one's like really hidden. Okay, put it at the back. And then you're just going to start stitching along this one again. And I just keep doing the same thing until you get to the end. Oops, mine's gone round there. It's an annoying reason. Okay. So that's how you do it, and if you've got any comments, then just, um, if you've got anything to say, like if you want any help with it, or if your costume goes wrong or anything, comment on any one of these three videos, so you can comment on the pumpkin templates, the um, pumpkin stitching, or the um, actual how to make a pumpkin costume. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys, and remember, when you get to the... And remember, to make it all plumped up, you just have to keep pulling the needle really tight. And 
when you get to the end, um, don't stitch the last two pieces together. Like, say if I got to the end, oops, not going to do it with that one. Um, I'll just take this safety pin out. Okay. Oh God. Right. Don't stitch these two pieces together. Okay. Um, leave them like that because at the end you can just put a safety pin in or whatever you like and that's how to do it. Anyway, so thanks for watching and have fun with making your pumpkin costume. Bye!